Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and we're going to be looking at one of our newer units in the M5 Stack series today. It's the PA Hub. The PA Hub is an I2C expander. We plug it into port A, which is for I2C or I2C devices. I2C is a protocol that allows us to attach multiple devices or sensors with a minimal amount of pins. It can do this because each I2C device has a unique address. But sensors that are the same all have the same address. We can get around this with the PA hub. The PA hub assigns a different I2C address to each of the ports on the hub. We can even daisy chain multiple PA hubs together to read much more I2C devices. There's many cases where we might want to use multiples of the same sensor. For instance, in obstacle avoidance on a robot. Here I have three TOF sensors. They're all the same and have the same I2C address. But in UI Flow, we're going to see how we can use the PA hub to get readings from them independently. Let's get started. Here we are in UI Flow, and as usual, we'll first set up our loop. And we're going to add three labels to show the values of our TOF sensors. Now, here's how we're going to start to add devices to the PA Hub. Rather than going into units and picking the PA Hub unit, we simply select which sensors we want to add. So first I'm going to find the TOF sensor. Here we go. And you'll notice now, when I select port, I can choose PA Hub. Okay, so I'll select that. Press OK. But obviously there's a bunch of ports on the PA Hub. How do I know which one is which? We click here and we can select which port of the PA Hub that we want to use. We have a list 0 to 5. If we look at this figure of the PA Hub, you can see on the PCB each port is numbered. So I'll put my first one in port 0. And then I'll add those dis that distance to the label to show on the screen. Now I can simply do the same again to add two more TOF sensors. Remembering each time to set it to a separate port. As shown in my figure here, I'll be setting my TOFs in ports 0, 2, and 5. Now we can simply duplicate these labels, simply changing the values for each sensor and label. Now we're going to need our logic part of this. We want to make sure that if the TOF sensor is triggered at a certain distance, less than 100, then we want to control the RGB LEDs and the sound of the M5 stack to make some sort of warning for we're getting too close to an object. So first we'll go into RGB, set the bar color, you can choose whichever color you like. And now we're going to need a delay to make those lights flash. This time instead of just putting a set amount of seconds, what we'll do is we'll take the value coming from the TOF sensor and then we're going to divide it. So first, let's copy that in there. Copy a math block. And we're going to divide this by 2000. OK, and now we duplicate our RGB bar and set it to black so it switches off. 
and then again duplicate our weight sequence and then we can always add in a speaker block after for some annoying sounds and we'd like to make this short because the duration will affect the reading of the sensor if we make it too long Okay, now we can add an else so when the tee-off is not triggered we can just set it to a different color now this is our block complete so this is pretty much done for now all we need to do is make three copies of these and then just change the values of the TOF sensors simple as that and then we're done now let's give it a test and there we have it you can link multiples of the same sensor together or use many different kinds of sensor on the PA Hub. I'd love to hear what you're going to do with this. Make sure to leave us a comment down in the comment section. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.